Hi, this is TapCat. Welcome to part 49 of Let's Play XCOM 2 with the Shen's Last Gift and Alien Hunters DLC. We're going to buy another tactic from the GTS. This time it'll be Grenadier Biggest Booms. That just leaves us the one for Specialists and Vengeance, but I'm going to hold off for now on that. We do have a mission to go to, specifically a retaliation. So we can expect to see chrysalids, various advent troops, a sectopod, and an Andromedan. So for the Western I don't expect this to be a cakewalk by any stretch. Let's see if we can put together a good squad. Um... I think I will leave Elizabeth behind for this one, although I'll probably start bringing her again soon instead of Galena. Uh, we will bring Grasshopper. Let me grab Rosario. Okay, so I did not equip her, huh? Well, that was silly of me. And let's see, she's good. I don't really need Lucas. I only have one Grenadier, so I'm gonna say that would be what I would like to address. And uh, let's grab Cynthia. Okay, and she's already equipped. So I think that's gonna do it. Let's go ahead and head out. are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. I'm on the move. All right. Well, as usual, since our rangers do have concealment, we kind of break that rule. Let's see. He, unfortunately, can't go any farther forward than she can. But I can come here and see some new territory. But nothing that reveals a group. All right, fair enough. Then it should be safe to come forward here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Absolutely. I'd love to rescue that civilian over here next turn, but it's very far away, so I would say the odds are pretty poor. Now, one thing I could do is bring him here. On my way. I'm willing to do that. There's a very small risk. Yeah, that's fine. And I only see one. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay, so I don't want to move anybody else forward from that spot. And in fact, Not a I'll move her to just kind of take his position. And now I need to find a home for Galena. Um, can't quite tell if he would be able to see. I don't know what that diamond, like this means he can see. I don't know what the solid diamond means. So I think rather than risk it... Oh, okay. Well, if you can't see her from here... Affirmative. I'll come here. That should be safe. I sure hope so. It would be quite upsetting. Got it Got it otherwise. Got it I probably should have brought Rosario over. Okay, so it's not just one. And it looks like there's a second pod right next to them. You know, I just realized, remember in uh, Enemy Unknown, the chrysalids were always very aggressive about attacking civilians and turning them into zombies. I'm really grateful that in this game, they don't hit that quite as hard. Okay, let's come here. Why are you just standing around? Go! 
So we got one. They got one and we got one. I'm not sure that ultimately that'll get us where we need to be, but hey. So I'm not super worried about cover at the moment because the groups that are closest to us are chrysalids. So mostly I just need to bring them forward. Okay, now she has an excellent shot. So I'm at 100% on either, even when I do rapid fire, which means she absolutely can kill one of them. Now I could use him to get another, but I would prefer not to do that. She could see one. Uh, the reason, by the way, that I would prefer not to do that is because um, he, uh, God, I'm sorry, I'm like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> because he's already a colonel. That's what I wanted to say. So let me just move her forward. I'm going to try to get hollow targeting on one of these guys. Preferably this one. Wow, okay. Well, I was going to try and get her that kill. <laughs> but instead, I did something else. So that's fine. Yeah, I figured I would just soften him up and then I would get Rosario an easy kill. You know, but uh, it's all good. It's dead. That is the single most important facet of what just happened. On my way. Now, I do believe there's another group over that way. So, pretty much my goal here is fairly simple. And that is to just get everybody in position for Overwatch. So, let's do it. Yeah, of course they're going to kill another one. Mm -hmm. I know. It does suck, actually. Now, can he free anybody else this turn? Um, I'm pretty worried about that move. Isn't there somebody over here? I guess he is the closest, huh? Well, what if I moved her here? Absolutely. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I guess it's okay. Let me try. Let's move already. Yeah. I'm busted. We've got here. It was a kind of an aggressive move. I'll be the first to admit it. That said, I'm not positive it was the wrong move yet. <laughs> it might be. Uh, it definitely might be. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping she'd have a better play at that guy. So you... Okay. Okay, I do have her. If I came here, I really doubt she's going to be able to see either one. On your order. But, I think I have to try. Okay, so what I can do is I can get hollow targeting on this guy, even if I don't hit. Yep, that's fine. Now, it is unfortunate. He has so much health that I really doubt... This will kill, but the good news is I have now a very good chance to hit him. And before, you know, it was pretty shady. I think he's going to fall just short of dying, which is always just super awkward. Um, so I think what I need to do is come here and I need to kill the shield bearer. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, I'm going to do... Well, hold on. No, I'm going to do this. He'll get the crit. So now, the officer, he can't hurt him. How many is that now? We are invincible. Uh, and I might as well just take here advantage of that to come over here on, and set this here. guy free. And I don't have to worry that, you know, they'll blast him instead. Just in case he runs forward, I'll move her there. I won't move her because if I do, she won't be able to do anything. I'll go ahead and start moving her forward. And I'm not going to use a Mimic Beacon. I, d I don't feel like I need one here. Actually, you know what? Uh, since she used some ammo, I'll just reload her. And I think everybody else can go on it's Overwatch. That's fine. Overwatch. And he is poisoned too. That's another reason I didn't want to use a Mimic Beacon. His aim is going to be pretty terrible. There's a very high chance that if he does fire, it'll be at Grasshopper, who is untouchable. Uh, of course, a civilian will probably get killed again. I mean, so far, we just keep trading civilians. They kill one, I rescue one. They kill one, I rescue one. Okay, for a second, I thought he was just plain old making a run for it. But nope, he did what I thought he would do. And it did exactly what I thought it would do, which is nothing. Now, I can see him from there, but I would say my odds of doing damage are really remote. I hate pulling him, you know, so far out of the, the realm. Like, what I want to do is just come down here and rescue another civilian. So this... This is the big question to me, you know, like. So Christine just can't get anywhere where she could see him. Oh, wait. Well, I don't really want to go through fire. But I can come here. All right. I will try this. So again, oh, actually it's not. Uh, I was going to say this is about hollow targeting, but it's not because the stock will kill him. So we're good. Target neutralized. Excellent. Okay, so now before I use anybody else, let's just use Grasshopper to come down. And rescue another civilian. Get out of here. Got some acid here. Yeah. Yeah, you sure did. Okay. Well, that isn't necessarily the group I would have chosen. But I don't know. I, I think we'll be okay, I hope. <laughs> um, okay, so she's the one who has blue screen rounds, yes, and let's see, if I were to use rapid fire, I still have a 100% chance to hit a certain sectopod. I don't see how I can pass that up, that's too good, that's too good. A guaranteed damage against a monster like that. And I mean, not just guaranteed damage. She's going to do a bunch. Yeah, now all his armor has gone and half his health. So, I'm pretty good with that. Now, let me see. Good, good. So, I won't. I could get the kill. I could. I could also use her for kill zone. Here's my question. Can Rosario get close enough to do me some good? Like if I came up here, yeah, how good is that really? I feel like it's not great, to be honest. Uh, 
I can move her here, and I think it's a fairly obvious thing to do. I may need to use the Mimic Beacon. That's kind of feeling like a very useful tool. What I'm probably going to need to do is use Grasshopper on um, the Sectopod, or I could use Rosario. I could just bring her here. You know, she'll only wound it. That's the problem. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to count on using her beacon. Do I even need to move him? I don't. 96% even where he's at. Yeah. Let's... Here. Let me do this. I can't run and gun. I can't. All right, I'm I'm good. I'm just doing this. Wow. All right, I need a crit here. Need a crit. Come on. Beautiful. Wow. He did some damage when he went up. That's why I didn't want to get too close. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull him back here. Let's Give him this. full cover, plus untouchable. Now, that obviously eliminated the biggest single threat on the board. Having done that, let's go ahead and just try and kill one of these clowns. While I have 100%. Kill zone is great, but... Okay, he could possibly die, but you know, that's not good enough. Screw possibly dying. I'm going to use run and gun. And I'm going to come here. And you know, I could... Wait, what just happened? Okay. Man, that scared the heck out of me. Um, I could try to kill him instead, because he's not poisoned. But I have a better chance at this guy. I only have a 75% chance at the crit. I'm going to be bold. This is a little reckless. Okay. We got away with it. I'm not sure it was smart. Um, okay, so now you use the Mimic Beacon. I'm just going to throw it out here, make sure they can see. I believe there's still one other guy besides that trooper. Oh, faceless. Well, that's not the end of the world. He may be able to hit Rosario, but it'll only be for a few damage. <laughs> oh, no, he'll have to go after the Mimic Beacon. Okay, so now we should find out if I miscounted. Is somebody else coming? No, they're just going to murder another city. And we see somebody over there. Good. Okay, that's the other guy. Well, if he doesn't hit too hard, and he didn't, awesome. So now even this guy will just attack the beacon. At least I think so. Wait. What the heck? How does he get to do that? How does he get to just completely ignore the mimic beacon? Okay, that's kind of suspect if I may say it so Christine I could use her to come in and put hollow targeting on this guy and I think I'm going to on the move. although I may need to use her for a heal here let's kind of hold that thought okay you have a hundred percent chance um, 
This guy's still poisoned, so he's dying. So I guess I don't really need to worry about him. That's the guy I'm more worried about. Yeah, I'm going to try this. If she can't kill him, I'll need to use Grasshopper, but I really... Good, good. I didn't want to do that because I believe there is another group very close by back there. And while we obviously will go after them, I don't feel the need to do that right now when I'm in the midst of fighting somebody else. Okay. Well, that's pretty much exactly what I was trying to accomplish. We hurt him pretty badly. So now, let's just use Galena. And since I'm not moving, there's no need to. I'll just do that. Reload her first. And he's done. And I'm thinking we just use Rosario on the um, trooper. I don't even... Well, I was going to say I don't think I need a mover. But I guess I do because um, she didn't have 100%. Now she does. And that ought to do it. Okay. So I think next turn we can probably grab a couple of more civilians. Out. I'm going to go ahead and just move Cynthia as close as I can. I'm going to put her on Overwatch. Um, I think with Grasshopper, I'm just going to leave him where he stands. And I'll also put okay. him on Overwatch. That's the whole squad. Everybody else already did what they could do. So I will probably need to do... Yeah, they're, they're being very annoying right now. Okay, so let's rescue a person. Go, you're safe. Go. Okay, we're, we're moving up on my little meter here. And I'm just going to reload and heal Back online. for her whole turn. Go patch them up. I'd really like to go reveal that other group just to kind of be done. Uh, that's not the right way to say it. To stop them from killing anybody else is really what I'm trying to say. I don't... Yeah, I'm not going to go over there. I'm just not willing to risk any more encounters right Absolutely. now. Now, I'd love to stay on the high ground, but I just think that... Um, it's not realistic. So let's see. Galena. You see, like we have to start coming over here. So I'm actually just going to come right next to her, I think. On the move. And that should be safe. All right. Uh, in fact, I'm going to reload her. Let's try Come and do... Time. Now, she gets freebies. But I will move her closer because I think the distance is going to start becoming more of an issue. And once again, I'm going to leave him where he's at and we will just overwatch all. So we'll try to start moving forward again this turn. I want to start moving Christine up if nothing else. But I'd like to engage that other group. Is, oh, there's an Andromedan. That's actually really bad. So I'm starting to think now there's two other groups out there. And that I was kind of counting on that civilian being the next one we saved. So uh, Well, let's move forward. Yeah, unfortunately, I think there's two left, not one. Okay, good. It's actually kind of nice that if we have to fight something as tough as the Andromedan, it's with just a sectoid and not a situation, you know, where we um, have a really tough group overall. 
So I kind of don't think she's going to be able to get close enough to do anything, but we're going to try. Okay, good. So once again, my main goal here is hollow targeting, but one never knows. All right, that's fine. Now, hopefully, what I've just managed to do is set Galena up for a kill. She now has a pretty good chance, and if she does hit, she'll kill. But she didn't. All right, well, it happens. Okay, unfortunately, Rosario is not going to be able to... Well, she doesn't have run and gun anyway. She's probably going to use a Mimic Beacon this turn. So, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. Boom. We get rid of his armor at least. Don't really dig punching through four. And I didn't think... We, uh, it's a shame he's immune to the, uh, the burn factor. Now I could do that. Um, that's actually a very legit option. Just kill that guy. Alternatively, I could use Hail of Bullets here, but uh, just out of curiosity, yeah, I figured. Um, let's just kill the Sectoid. I really like that, and the reason I say that is because um, this way I know for a fact the Andromedan will attack the Mimic Beacon. And then um, if he were to kill it by taking the first shot, the sectoid would be free to do whatever he wanted. Now, I'm not saying the sectoid would kill one of us or anything, but we could take a wound, absolutely. And so this way, it just gives me a pretty risk-free approach, and I'm very happy with that. So, yeah. He's not bothered by the acid. What is he doing? Is he leaving? They're moving the flank, Ray. Well, I'm glad he missed. This is very strange. I mean, he was only in a pod of two. So it's quite odd that he would just bail like that. Okay. Grasshopper. There we go. I tell you, it's just super awkward. I'm, I'm very nervous about revealing that other group with the officer in it. And, like, nobody really has cover they can get to. That is not good. Yeah, she needs somebody. At least I think she does. No, she can hit him. So the question is, can Christine or uh, Inez get close enough? Let me move her up. This could be... Yeah, I'm good with this. Who knows? Maybe she'll even execute him. I was going to say, frankly, I'd settle for a hit. <laughs> and be pretty happy about getting it. I'm not going to move her that way yet. So I could do this. I kind of like that idea. Because I could just kill him straight up. Uh, but I think I should use him. I think I'm going to come. I got to be careful. I want to make sure he can see. Okay, it looks like he can. Finally. Using the little indicator, he's supposed to be. Uh, that's what I didn't want to do. Doggone them. So now I gotta use my last mimic beacon. 
because I need this turn just to kill the stupid Andromedan. I really do. Um, I mean, that would be a fun play. And I'm not kidding when I say that. It would be pretty, uh, pretty tasty. So I could, like... Problem is, see, I just can't move her forward aggressively. I'll do this. I'm going to run and gun, and I'll come here. I'm going to try and get a kill on this Andromedan. 77%. That's not great, but it's by far the best shot she has, except for that tank. Now, if I hit the tank, it's only going to affect that officer. Just don't know how good that is right now. I'm going to do this. There we go. That's what I wanted. So now Inez can use her blue screen rounds and rapid fire, hopefully, to just kill this clown. So where is she, anyway? I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Can she get there? Kinda. Well, it's 100% this way. 86% with rapid fire. I'm in. Taking this guy down will be huger than huge. So, I good. I've already broken even. Now if I get this. Yep, done. Confirmed. Boom. Only the best. And the good thing is, I do believe we have now engaged the very last group on the map. And so, um, what's nice about that is it should be pretty much the end of civilian killing. Okay, she cannot see anything. Is it likely that she will be able to this coming turn? I'm not sure it is. So what I'm tempted to do is come here. I think I will. So she won't do anything this turn, but I think she'll do me some good next time. And that will matter. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with her. Stepping off. So, now, he's the only one left. I could do something like shoot the tank. That's not good enough. So, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw, let's see. Well, that guy way at the back, he's going to do whatever he wants. Uh, but I'll throw the beacon like here. Yeah, I really want to pull them forward if I can. So, that's fine. I would like to be able to run the table on these guys this turn. Um, at worst, you know, have one alive. So I don't know if we'll be able to do that, but that's one reason I did some dashing and stuff. Okay. So this is great. The beacon is going to absorb all three shots. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention. It must have died. Oh, my bad. I saw the guy um, moving forward and I was like, oh good, he's going for the beacon. So I just spaced for a second. Okay, well, that wasn't great, but we'll live, I think. So obviously I have to move. That is kind of a given. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna come up here and use him to kill the trooper, because that is really like the most guaranteed kill I could have. Does she have the Talon rounds? No, she has AP rounds. I also failed to equip her with a good a good gun, so that wasn't great. Tired of waiting around. But I'm gonna see if I can soften up this guy and grab the loot. I've got the loot. Only 89, but let's give it a go. Nope, she hurt him. Looks like he dodged, yeah. Well, that sucks. 
Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Well, I'm game. I'm game. Who knows? Maybe for once I'll get a chance to boost her uh, stats and actually make it stick. No, that's right. I guess you don't really get that on here. Oh, my God. Well, take three damage. I think we're going to have some wounded soldiers coming off of this. We were actually doing really well until that grenade. We had taken a total of one wound, and I was feeling pretty good about that. But uh, now, mm, not so much. Okay, you go ahead and eat hot plasma. One short. But not for long. I'm pretty sure I can do this. And I will. Beautiful. And I think... Yeah, okay. So, let me see. Who's left? Just that guy. Well, I don't think she can kill him given that she can't use rapid fire yeah she can't see him anyway and grasshopper doesn't need kills so I'm going to try and give it for her yep I was just making sure there wasn't any kind of ability I could use that would help <laughs> does he have one health yep but he's also poisoned so, I'm just going to put her on Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. And I'll put him on Overwatch. Wait, can he move? Yes. Here I come. So, I'm not going to bother doing anything else. I'll just go Overwatch. This guy should, yeah, he's just going to drop dead. Exactly. Oh, wait, is there, a, oh, a faceless. I totally forgot there would be one more. That's fine. Yeah, at this level, a lone faceless when you're not having to fight anything else is not really much of a threat. You know, the absolute worst case scenario is he does a couple of points of damage, like, you know, four or whatever. It's just not really that big a thing. Okay, I actually would like to get this kill for Inez if I can. That might be optimistic, but nope, I don't think it is. Locked and loaded. I really want to bring her on the final mission, you know, once we get to it. And obviously I would prefer that she was a colonel. And it takes many, many kills. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Cool. So we rescued seven, which is uh, better than the minimum at least. And again, the grenade kind of screwed us. I think we took three wounds just from that one grenade. So unfortunately, the first two soldiers in that pod were a little rough on the mimic beacon. And um, so that's fine. I mean, I don't like hospital time, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't... You're not at risk of dying because a trooper throws a grenade. It's just not really that big of an event. And overall, I was pretty happy, actually, with uh, how it went and how we approached it. I didn't really feel... Like, even when I revealed the Sactopod group, I won't say it was my plan to do that, but I always knew when I went down there that it could happen. And, you know, I was prepared to accept that. And the fact that we killed the sectopod on that turn and then we're able to use the mimic beacon, you know, for the rest of the pod, and that just it proved that, you know, I was I was correct to be comfortable with that. We did have the means to manage that situation. So I have to say I am really liking the three mimic beacons per mission. It's one of the reasons I have not gone out of my way to build any of the 
special armor that the Proving Ground offers because you lose one of the slots for carrying stuff. And I like being able to bring things like the special ammo and the Mimic Beacon. I like it a lot. So, I like it more than the options that most of those suits give us. Yeah, okay. No promotions, uh, but also most of the wounds aren't too bad. Um, Grasshopper's the only one that's a little problematic, but I think... Um, I think Christian comes back in like a day, so. Hello, Commander. Plus 14. Yeah, baby. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Intel. Um, actually, that might not be a bad thing to do. I was in the midst of making contact here, but I guess that's right. I had shifted. Let's just try and do that. I definitely want to keep the story moving forward. Our last series was so long. I really want this one to be a lot shorter. So uh, part of that is... Okay, good, good, good. Um, let's take care of her now. So we're going to take Shredder. We will take Suppression, I guess. I will take Hollow Targeting. Chain Shot. <laughs> Just all the way down the line. I am the uh, heavy gunner, I guess. Okay. And beautiful. So let's go back to this. Flamethrower. Ugh. Garbage. Okay. Well, let me come to the Proving Grounds. If I can remember where it is. And I guess I'll just try to build more ammo. Because there's very little in here that I actually care about. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. I really want an another thing of Talon Rounds, but... Can't control it. Okay, so now it's kind of official that we're really getting to the point where uh, I'm running out of stuff that engineers can do. So that's the last space we have to, you know, clear. I could just staff somebody in here, like for no other reason than that we can, because we don't need power. <laughs> <laughs> I now have eight to spare. Uh, likewise, I don't really need more contacts yet, but I'll go ahead and just put Marco in there. And kind of be ready. And of course, we can upgrade that if we need to. Alright, let's try to finish this. Okay, good. Christian took longer than I thought, but he's fine now. Contact with the resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the Alien Forge facility. Okay, so here's my thing. I am ready to go on that mission, but uh, it, except for one thing, I want Grasshopper back. I want him on that mission. So I am going to Avenger, attempt to course. spend three days doing something else. And hope I don't get another mission. But, as is so often the case, we did. So, it is what it is. Um, let's see. I wouldn't mind stopping this and getting 103 intel. Um, I'm not worried about that one at all. And I'm not worried about this reward, although I would. So we'll do either this one or that one. But I will decide that when we come back. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.